Hi, welcome to Fort Myers, Florida. I'm Dr. Ross Hauser. Uh, we're at actually Caring Medical Florida. I get a lot of inquiries of people who feel like botulinum toxin injections made them worse, and in fact, it actually did. You know, when you get botulinum toxin injections, wherever you get them, it actually causes atrophy of muscles. So if you have an injection of botulinum toxin in, into a muscle in your neck, just know that that muscle be, may be protecting you from cervical instability. So it's relatively common for people to get botulinum toxin injections for headaches and stuff in the upper back of the neck. And if, it, if the botulinum toxin affects the obliquus capitis inferior muscle here, that muscle is going to atrophy. That muscle helps stabilize the C2. So when that muscle atrophies, the C2 rotates. So in this particular person, the C2 is rotating to the left. So it's rotating to the left. So in other words, if the vertebrae, if the vertebrae rotate to the left, well, now this C2 area, it can compress the internal jugular vein and, a, and decrease the outflow of the cerebral spinal fluid. It can compress the vagus nerve. It can cause a, a pinching of the C2 nerve root, which turns into the occipital nerve and give you occipital neuralgia. These muscles are needed to protect the C1, C2, C0, C1 area. So if you get weakness in these muscles and you have cervical instability, your cervical instability is gonna get worse. So anyone who's had botulinum toxin injection and you're confident that, that those shots made you worse, well, this is probably the mechanism. It actually caused your upper cervical instability, which is why you had the headaches in initially to be far worse because now your muscles are so atrophied that it can't stabilize it. So the treatment of this is you have to get a digital motion x-ray and then you have to resolve the original reason why these muscles were tight and painful, which was protecting you because of your cervical instability. So when the ligaments get tightened, the ligaments get tightened, and there's resolution of the upper cervical instability, the muscles relax, and thus the vertigo, the dizziness, the head pressure, the neck pain, the facial pain, the swallowing difficulties, all of that resolves. So unless it's absolutely necessary, and you've had a clearance by an experienced prolotherapist, do not do not get botulinum toxin injections for headache. There's no headache in the world that's a botulinum toxin deficiency. So it's not curative and it could be extremely harmful. So I can't emphasize that enough. So if you have, unre if you have headaches and nobody can figure out the cause, get a digital motion x-ray and if you have instability, get prolotherapy.